Hello, everyone. Welcome to Heart Center Tarot. As always, my name is Marina, and I will be your guide for this portion of the journey. So, something interesting happened in Romania today. Romania, you ask? Mm-hmm. Let me give you a little bit of a uh, perspective on where Romania is, for those of you that are not sure. And then we'll get into why it made news. So um, Romania is obviously in Europe. Um, it is bordered on the south um, by Bulgaria. It is bordered on the sort of north and west of Ukraine, bordered on the east by uh, Serbia, on the northeast by Hungary, and kind of in, in the center of it all, there, there's a little landlocked country called um, Moldova. So uh, Moldova kind of stands to, um, to the north, a little bit northwest of um, Romania and is kind of the um, little country between the full border between um, Ukraine and Romania. So that gives you a little, little bit of a perspective of where we are in the world. Well, Romania um, had... Um, they are in the in the process of having their elections, and they do it um, similarly to the way that the French do, which is you know you have so many people are running, and then you take the top um, percentage that um, that make it over a certain threshold, and then those have a runoff, and then again you take the top, and so on. Well, there is this little um, unknown unknown guy who kind of uh, well, he didn't come out of nowhere. I mean, you know, he's um, he's educated. He's he's been involved in in um, um, in Romanian parliament and and so on, um, but he's not not your typical politician. He's kind of, he was more of a um, civil servant for a good number of years. Well, he kind of comes out of nowhere and um, his campaign was run on TikTok, clue number one. So he is 62 years old. Um, his name is Callan Georgescu. Um, he is basically an, an agronomist, um, you know, deals with uh, um, sustainability, sustainability development in terms of, um, um, of grains and different agronomist things. See, so you can look that up. Um, he was, um, he has a university education and he's held different uh, positions in, in the government. Um, the latest position I think that he had was as the executive director um, of uh, U.S. Global Sustainable Index Institute in Geneva and Valdez, and he held that position from 2015-2016. Uh, he's also worked in the UK. He has also worked in the US. What makes him really interesting is that he is, he is a conspiracy theorist, and he sounds an awful lot like someone else we know. So, <clears throat> Apparently, he, quote unquote, won the first round of these um, of the election, and news was released that investigations apparently had found a um, a link between his massive, quote unquote, alleged support on TikTok and 
wait for it, Russia. So um, the um, it was the the Romanian um, court, basically more than anything else, um, that said, mm -mm, nope. Not playing that. They ordered a, um, initially, I think they ordered a recount. And then I think that they said, no, it, you're going to, this, this is going to have to be a do over. Right. There was a good number of people who were protesting in the streets and, and so on and so forth because this guy seemed like out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, um, he comes in with you know, and and he beats the the percentage of the of the current um, 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 president um, and the the woman who's running against him. And anyway, it I mean you know it's a little shady, right? Considering some of the other things that are happening in the world that we have seen, like entertainment purposes only, um, things that have happened in the U.S., things that have happened in uh, South Korea, um, things that have happened in, in other parts of the world where you know, there might be opportunity for elections, and it's like all of a sudden the, the dark horse seems to be the one that, that everyone prefers and wants. Um, it's a little, it's a little unusual. It's a little suspicious, if you know what I mean. So, um, the let, let me just move some of my papers around because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the right information. Um, so, yes, a recount of the votes cast in Sunday's first round of presidential elections in Romania has been ordered by the country's top court following allegations that social media platform TikTok gave preferential treatment to the surprise winner, Callan Georgescu. Um, and the Constitutional Court has rejected claims filed by two of the losing candidates who accused Georges Georgescu of illegal campaign financing. Uh, Georgescu has said, I, I didn't spend any money campaigning. You know, I've, I've only got a staff of 10 and you know, it's not a, nothing to see here, folks. It's just, you know, people prefer me, right? So <clears throat> anyway, um, the, the, uh, he won by 23% of the vote with, uh, uh, with 19% for the runner-up, Elena Lasconi of the opposition Save Romania Union. Okay. The current prime minister, Marcel Ciolacu, I know I'm butchering these names. I apologize. If you are Romanian, feel free to laugh at me. Okay. Um, and um, who is uh, the leader of the uh, Social Democrats, came in third. Um, now, a full recount is unprecedented in Romanian post-communist history. Now, you may not realize, or some of you may not know, some of you might, that remember, um, what was his name? Um, he was the de facto dictator, uh, Ceausescu. Yes, Ceausescu. Um, of Romania, and you know, while his people suffered, oh, he he lived in palatial splendor, until um, yeah, the people rose up against him. So, <clears throat> you know, there's a good deal of turmoil in the country, and I, I or has been a good deal of turmoil in the country, and I think that the the people um, in in Romania. This is not um, this is not unusual for them in terms of upheaval. So I think that they might be a little quicker to uh, to question and to uh, to stand up and say, "Oh no, right?" They have uh, they were a part of, um, of communist Russia. They know what it's like to to back away from that. Now it um, also. 
with Georgescu. Uh, he is, well, he believes in supporting Putin. He's not a fan of him, though, he says. I'm not a fan of Putin, but um, he does He does believe that Putin is doing all the right things and so on and so forth. So he is a supporter of Putin. Um, he is also very much a supporter of um, Donald J. Trump. So <clears throat> he, he is very, um, very very far um, far right and he is doesn't um, well he said that one of the first things that that he was going to do he he believes he is going to ultimately uh, just win win this election and uh, when confronted with well what about all this information that has come forward he said oh don't believe that it's just propaganda and you know they're, they're People don't don't go out in the street. Just stay home. Spend time with your families. Don't don't pay attention to any of this. Again, sound familiar? Um, and he is um, most of his campaigning was, like I said, done on TikTok. He firmly believes that uh, Romania according to him, when he gets in, on day one, he's going to stop everything going to the Ukraine, not supporting Ukraine at all. Mm -mm. Although up until now, as a, um, as a member of NATO, um, Romania has supplied a good deal of support um, to the Ukraine. Well, according to Georgescu, that stops immediately. Full stop, not gonna happen. Uh, there is no more aid that is going into Ukraine. There are no weapons. There, none of that is happening. And as a matter of fact, a lot of Ukraine's grain shipments were going through Romania to get to uh, to the seaports so that they could be exported. Um, he's putting a stop to that as well. There, no, 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 no. There, there will absolutely be none of that either. So, um, sounds like I said, sounds like someone, someone we know. Um, now, let me tell you a little more about this. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, he, oh, and of, of course, <laughs> of course, with some of the, the, the players that were involved that were kind of um, named in this um, in this investigation and the further investigations are going on. And yeah, he has also denied knowing any of the influencers and founders mentioned in the reports. He had no idea who they are. Maybe they brought him coffee at some point, but you know, he, nothing to do, nothing to do with it, right? Um, and he will, he has also said that he spent zero on election promotion. Zero. Could be. But the information in the investigation that came out um, said that um, those promoting him on TikTok had uh, received payments of um, $299,819 to 361,872 euros. That's a lot of money when you consider your euros to, to dollars. It's, it's almost two to one. And that was in just one month, one month in um, from October 24th. So um, he, um, the documents were released in a highly unusual move and uh, more papers are drawn up for a meeting of the Security Council following the first round of, um, uh, of the election results. And um, yes, he has said that, um, and of course, Russia has denied any knowledge. They know nothing. Well, I mean, why would they? 
you know, with Russia, Russia, Russia. <laughs> okay. Um, he said that, um, um, that yes, he'd, please, people, stay at home with your family. We need social tranquility. God will not let Romania down. Apparently, he's also very religious. Can, can you see the connections? Can you see the, the dots that are coming together here and, and so on? Um, he is... The, well, the, the information that has come out with the investigation said that, yeah, there, there was, you know, uh, definitely aggressive hybrid activity that was coming out um, and linked to Russian cyber attacks and, and so on and so forth. So, you know, you can say, oh, there's nothing there. There's something there. There's something there. And it's amazing that it would, um, again, related to related to election and someone from the, the far right, someone who is, um, you know, extremist in a lot of ways. Um, even though Romania is a part of NATO and have been for a while, he said, no, we're, we're not bound by um, by NATO defense spending or anything along those lines. We're not, no. As a matter of fact, maybe I'm going to take us out of NATO. Again. Again. Sounds familiar. So, as this is kind of developing news and so on, I thought that I would, um, I would take a look and see just... Um, if I can't just pick up a little more information on the um, on the energy of this, is there something to is there there? You know what I mean. So um, I think the 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 people that that have. Um, that were out in the streets that were protesting and saying no 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 they were out in the streets protesting 35 years ago and you know so it's not like that's ancient history to them um some of them very much lived through that and are living through it again okay um as i'm shuffling the cards the strength card pops out so i'm going to hang on to that um so what is what is the energy is there is there something untoward uh, let's put it that way is there something behind the russia 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 um information that is coming out in romania mm. we start off with the hermit The Six of Wands. Come on. Ten of Swords. The Four of Cups. And Seven of Swords. Okay. Now, I must tell you that a few hours ago, um, when I got the news this, that this had happened in, in Romania, um, I did pull some cards. And um, I did, at that time, pull the Strength card. I pulled the Ten of Swords. And I did pull, um, you know, it, it was the, the, the Five of Swords that I pulled. Yeah, the Five of Swords. And here I've got the Seven of Swords. So... Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles, the agreements, the um, you know, kind of the, the deals, side deals, and so on that's happening. So what I'm getting from this is uh, Romania doesn't feature prominently in, in the news. So 
you know, for them to 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 come from a state of um, of of being the hermit, of um, almost like take. It feels like maybe this is the start of something much bigger, in that what is happening in Romania, they are. Um, they are shining the light. They are saying, "Okay, look. If you, if you go, go along and and follow the path, follow the money, follow the things that you you need to follow. Um, you know, we can emerge victorious in this. We can take a look and see who the um, who the players are and how they got there. How they got there. Where did they get their strengths? Right." Um, I mean, how do you how do you run a campaign on zero zero dollars or or I didn't spend any money on my campaign? Kind of doesn't feel right. So I think that you know, with this initial quote unquote victory um, and the focus being on what happened, it Georgescu is uh, is very much facing the. Um, that ten of swords. That this no no no. This is this is the this is the end. You're not going to get away with what it is that you think that you are going to get away with. I with the um, with the recount. I think there is an opportunity for them to um, for for him to almost bow out if if he wants. Um, It almost feels like he is approached, and someone tells him, uh, "Look, we've we've got the agreements. We, you know, we've got the information on, on what you did. You're trying to steal things, and and we know who's involved in this in this little theft with you. So, um, why don't you just kind of go back to being a a civil servant, go back to to your office job, and." Uh, you know, we're not going to embarrass you any further. Um, I think a lot of things are are coming, are going to be coming to light. And it feels like this is just the beginning. Um, we saw how swiftly uh, South Korea's um, courts stepped in. And, you know, the, the military initially... Um, we're going to side with the martial law and then said, no, wait a minute, maybe we better stand back. And then very quickly it was no, 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 that's it. So um, this is almost like, um, like kind of the dominoes falling, right? As soon as one falls, the other ones start to topple. So um, I think that that Georgescu thought that this was a, a done deal. Reminds you of anyone else? Um, and it's not working out. It's not working out the, the way that he thought. I think the what's happening, what we're witnessing is that more and more of these things that are happening, it's not just one country that's paying attention. The world is paying attention. The eyes of the world are on um, on some of the upcoming elections and the things that that happened and who was involved and who did what. It's going to be a lot more difficult to get away with things. So, okay. Now, is there could be other? I mean, TikTok is a Chinese company. Maybe how do I mean? I don't know. It's it's within the realm of possibility that you know it, it could be China as well um, that's involved. Maybe they're just um, they could be working in tandem with Russia. Maybe they're doing it independently. So I'm going to ask: Is is Russia interfering in? Romania's election. Is Russia trying to interfere in Romania's election? Da, 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 da. Yeah, this 
folks, this feels exciting. This feels like, um, yeah, the world is paying attention. It, there, um, it's not just the U.S. The U.S. may be the biggest, but the world is really paying attention. Okay, so is Russia trying to interfere in Romania's election? Okay, well, I shuffled. Get the hermit again. Yes, the seven seven of swords again, uh, coming out stealing. Yeah, taking what doesn't belong to you. Absolutely, the um, the seven of wands. The um, the 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 battling trying to um trying to def defend your position trying to to fend off the people that are around you trying trying to almost um interfere with the um with the traditions or or, or trying to interfere with with happy families it's almost like um you know yeah um, people are getting too complacent, too comfortable. You know, we need to shake things up. Um, there is that interference there. And in Queen of Swords, the truth is um, is coming out. It's not going to be pretty when it comes out. So um, what I'm getting from this, um, yes, yeah. And again, entertainment purposes only, um, yes. Russia is doing whatever they can to interfere in Romania's election. And they are not the only ones. Okay, let's find out and let's ask. I'm going to try to keep this under 30 minutes because, well, because, you know, I don't want to bore you. Um, is... Okay. I, I know what I want to ask. I just have to frame it. Um, frame it in, in a way that um, that makes sense, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, it, will more information come out about Russia's involvement? Um, will... Will the world get more information about Russia's involvement, not only in Romania, but in other, um, in other countries' elections as well? Okay, Page of Pentacles. And there's, you know, offering something up. Queen of Pentacles, um, knowing where your, knowing where your resources are, knowing what you can do. Um, knowing how to take care of things, okay? Uh, the, the Nine of Swords, this, yeah, find, finding out where, where you've spent your resources. <laughs> the uh, the eight, eight of Cups, having to walk away. And the King of Pentacles, look at that. We've got the page, the queen, and the king. Oops, apologies, I forgot to turn that off. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, that the world is going to, and this, that it feels like this is very much a concern for um, for Putin that he has. Um, he knows that his his days are numbered, really. Um, he's not getting any younger. Uh, he's got health issues. Things are not going the way that he wants. He is losing the war in the Ukraine. He wants to stop um, any kind of aid going into Ukraine. And if that means getting involved in rigging the election, uh, elections, the elections of the countries around Ukraine, he's going to do that. He's going to throw everything he can at the wall and hope that something sticks. 
Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I just think that um, we'll probably do another reading on this uh, um, in a day or two as a little more news comes out, just so that, you know, I can get a little better perspective. But man, oh man, it sure sounds familiar. You know, it's kind of like first course, same as second course. There's just, you know, a couple notes that are a little different, but otherwise it sounds like the same old story. Alrighty. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, give give me a thumbs up in the comments if you found this interesting. And uh, if there's anything else that you think might be interesting for me to read on, put it down in the comments. I'll take a look. Alrighty, have a great Friday evening, and I will see you all later. Take care.